made him what we had. You say you haven't got it yet. Just said you haven't got a record. Is there a certain time frame you you work on something, or at at some point you you maybe say it's enough now, you leave it? Yeah, just until you get until you're not making any headway. It's like uh, the best times are when you don't really have to talk. You can just someone starts playing it and you play it for ten minutes, mm -hmm. and a few little breakthroughs are made, and you can say. You know, we're not technically trained, classically trained musicians, so it's not like we can say, you talk, we have to talk in a sort of generalized way, or our own sort of weird way of talking about music, but we can communicate, and we, if we make a breakthrough, we'll make an audio recording of it, and then, and that will be the, the latest prototype one, and the rest are sort of, if it's a good thing, the rest are then uh, out of date, and then it's, we have just, that version. Hundreds yes, of versions of the songs yeah. until the last one. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. how many songs you worked with Ian, uh, the producer, I think, for two, the, also this one? Yeah. How many songs did you present him and in what stage were they at the time? <laughs> um, he came and we were, when we were writing in the, the first studio, um, he came and checked out a, just a bunch of early rough ideas and then um, we had about no, there's five? loads of bits. Loads five songs, of five, and then five lots or of six songs, and then the rest was just hundreds of, of pieces. <laughs> pieces that didn't really fit together. And then a little later on, we went back home and started and carried on writing. It was a little more productive, and um, we ended up, you know, having our oh, good kind of 13, 14 things. Not all of them completely finished. Mm -hmm. yep. But, um, yeah. Who decided to call him in at, in that stage? Was that you, or was that maybe some management decision? Uh, which songs we were going to do? Nah, yeah. What what moment you you decide to bring him in and, and present him the songs? Oh, we just you know we just said look, we've, it's 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 worth you coming down. and we have something to show you. It's not worth coming down if we're just playing mm -hmm. A for all the afternoon. Going well, it's not going well, is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, we were like we've got some things, and we'd like your opinion, and it's all very natural and stuff. But then again, we're. He's as tough on us as we are tough on, on each other. Like, and uh, you know, it's 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 a serious day when you go and have a meeting after. And like, right. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. You know, no 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 punches held, like, or pulled. No punches pulled. And uh, sometimes it's kind of depressing, you know. Can you recall one thing board. that he said that that really was struck you in a way that you thought, ah, that's. But the first time you came Yeah, you haven't the got studio. the album. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he came, we played him what we had. You say you haven't got it yet. He just said to you, you haven't got a record. And that was kind of, that was hard to take at the time because we were frustrated that we weren't getting anywhere. And we were, we were kind of almost trying to sort of like, kind of trick him into thinking we had a record because we didn't, we knew we did, we know we didn't at the time. And it was just hard to hear it at that particular moment. It but was, then, yeah. you know. But then that only spurred us on to keep working. What, what was the frustration you had? Why wasn't it working maybe then? We'd been on tour for two months. Not two months, two years. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, being, that's, that's what happens when you go on tour for two years. Um, and we, got, we came off the tour, we went straight into the studio to write the second one. We didn't take any breaks and we were still in that tour bubble mode. And, um, you know, trying to decompress and come up with something you know, we've been playing at these really great big shows and stuff, and you get back into a room and you can't seem to come up with anything. It's, it's, it's scary, you know? Um, so that was, that was the beginning. But, you know, we didn't realize how much work we were actually getting done as we were sort of getting frustrated. We were, we were working it out, it just took a bit of time. Was a new chapter for you, for, for the band maybe, to, to feel this? Because when you're on the road, I think you have the adrenaline from playing live, but maybe decompressing. What, was it the first time in the band experience, such a thing? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's the first time we made a second record. You know, it's, never, I haven't really had that pressure before. The first album was also quite, you know, difficult to write, but we had longer to do it, and we didn't really, we hadn't, we're not writing it for a purpose. It was just, we, you know, we wanted to write some good songs together. So mm -hmm. this time it was like, right, okay, we've played around. We know what it's like to do sort of slightly bigger live shows. We want to make a more impressive record. We want to better ourselves and push ourselves a bit. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult when it's not happening. Really.